Hello everyone, this is Shelly and in today's video, I'm going to review the minimalist Sepicam 3% oat moisturizer. Like this has been a highly requested video, but I needed good amount of time to test out the product. And by now, I think I've used it up for good 3 weeks or maybe little more than that. And so now I can tell you like uh, what I think about this product, what you should be expecting from it and what you shouldn't be expecting from it. So the brand has made this moisturizer like a one size fit for all that is uh, this moisturizer claims to be suitable for normal dry combination and oily skin and also for the people who deals with sensitivity acne and even fungal acne so I'm gonna answer all that in this video but before that I want to talk a little about the ingredients that they have used in this moisturizer the first key ingredient that they have used in this moisturizer is the colloidal oat and colloidal oat is an amazing ingredient to soothe the dry and itchy skin it also helps in improving the skin barrier and it provides that powerful antioxidant benefit and finally colloidal oat helps in calming down the acne as well the second key ingredient that they have used in this minimalist moisturizer is the sepicam and sepicam is nothing but a collection of four ingredients that you are seeing on the screen and these four ingredients are nothing but the amino acids and mineral and all these four ingredients they help in calming down the skin they prevent the trans epidermal water loss and they Therefore, they're gonna help in improving the hydration level of your skin. Just in case, if you want to learn more about this Sepicam ingredient, you can check out the link that I've included in the description box below. Like, this is basically a patented ingredient. So, the page has all the information that I'm sure you guys must be curious about. So, yeah, for your reference, I have included that link in the description box. Apart from these two ingredients, this moisturizer also has some notable good ingredients like squalene. Squalene is an amazing emollient. It is basically a face oil. It helps in keeping your skin moisturized for long and is also a very powerful antioxidant and the good thing is that squalene is tolerated by all skin types including sensitive acne prone skin and fungal acne prone skin and the second good ingredient that it has is the glycerin and glycerin is a no-brainer i'm sure you all know it's a really good humectant so it keeps your skin hydrated and the third notable ingredient it has is the sodium polyglutamate and this ingredient is not known to many like it's a very powerful humectant way more powerful than even hyaluronic acid so it keeps your skin hydrated for really long time and also has some anti-aging benefit as well and this moisturizer does contain panthenol and panthenol helps in reducing the redness so this minimalist moisturizer also has another very powerful antioxidant and it is the tocopherol acetate and this is nothing but a derivative of vitamin E so this ingredient prevents your skin from getting dull and lastly this moisturizer also contains shea butter which has been a concern for many people out there especially the people who deal with fungal acne so shea butter is a really good occlusive that it, it keeps your skin moisturized for a really long time and also it is is rich in fatty acid so it keeps your uh, skin barrier intact so many of you mainly wanted to know from me like whether this moisturizer is 100% fungal acne safe or not because of the shea butter in it so I'm going to be very transparent over here shea butter is not 100% fungal acne safe since it is rich in fatty acid and fatty acid many times does trigger a uh, fungal acne in some people all I want to say is like uh, this is like fairly tolerant by uh, fungal acne prone skin not many people have complained getting fungal acne from shea butter so you shouldn't be like very worried about it but just in case like if you ever had fungal acne from product that contains shea butter you can avoid this otherwise you can definitely check this out like I know that my opinion over here does uh, sound very grey, it's not like black or white. Uh, but yeah, some ingredients are like that and I just cannot straight away say that it's 100% good or 100% bad. Because it varies from skin to skin. And this minimalist Sepicam cream has a very unique texture. Like when you take it out from the tub, it does have that coagulated feel to it. But at the same time, it has slight slimy feel to it like don't worry they have not used any kind of snail mucin in it uh, but yeah it does have that slight slimy feel to it because of the formulation and when you apply on the skin um, it does take few extra minutes to sink in completely and if like on some days i've seen like if i apply it too much 
it does even feel slightly sticky as well so you got to give this moisturizer some time to sink in properly and set into your skin but once it does it doesn't feel sticky or heavy on skin so this is why i feel that oily skin people out there if you want to try this moisturizer get it only for this winter time for summer time you might find it sticky you might find it choking on skin because uh, it's not that uh, oily skin friendly and also like if you have like normal and combination skin you people can use this all year around this is going to be a perfect moisturizer for different season you don't have to switch off your moisturizer as per different seasons and when it comes to like dry to very dry skin uh we people like me i have dry sensitive and acne prone skin for winter like it's not that moisturizing enough like after this i do need to use a sleeping mask or a face oil to get uh, that complete nourishment during this winter time but i'm sure like during summer this is going to be perfect for dry skin the brand claiming that this is a one size fit for all it's not completely true like i don't think all skin type can happily use it some people might like it in winter some might like it in summer so now for the usage uh, this moisturizer is suitable for daily usage you can use it day and night and like i especially want to say that on the days like i mean on the night when you are using intensive treatments like aha bha vitamin c or retinol use this moisturizer in two or three layers and that way it's gonna like help in counteracting all the redness and sometimes the irritation which we get from all these aha bha and vitamin c and retinol and now i'm going to share my final opinion on this minimalist sepicam 3 percentage oat moisturizer in simple word i'm gonna say i love this moisturizer like i have been very happy using this this is something that i'm definitely repurchasing for myself and this is something that i will be like more than happy to recommend and suggest to all the people out there except for the oily skin uh, one thing i want to point out that uh, don't expect to have intensive calming effect from it of course i was very happy with how it felt on my skin how it moisturized my skin and all that uh, but whenever my skin was very badly irritated in between i was going back to my uh, centella base product so i still prefer my centella base product to calm my skin they work really well for my skin don't expect any kind of intensive treatment from this moisturizer don't expect any intensive brightening effect or anti acne effect or any special treatment from this but at the same time expect it to be a really good quality moisturizer that's free from all the bad ingredient and will not harm your skin and overall it will keep your skin healthy like i have used some really costly moisturizer that literally does what this product is doing for your skin at rupees 350 this moisturizer is 100% fragrance free they have not used any artificial fragrance or natural fragrance uh, but to me it does smell like coconut i'm sure it's from the base ingredient they have used in this product and also this is 100% essential oil free which is a win win situation for the sensitive skin and this has a perfect ph of 6 the brand claims that this has a ph between 5 to 6 but at home when i checked the ph came around exactly 6 which is a good thing because it's closer to our skin natural ph of 5.5 so again a wonderful thing so i highly highly recommend this moisturizer a must buy from the brand minimalist so that's all for today and if you like the video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and with this said i will see you in my next video bye